Remember the Minot growth function for chemical reactions. Well, it turns out that the Minot growth function has been used to model the growth of biofilms. And the rate of growth of the biofilm as a function of nutrient density is given by the Minot function. And here it is, R of n, 2 times n over 5 plus n, and we have r at 0 is equal to 0, because if we plug in 0 here, we'll have 0 there. Now, just to remember the overall shape of this function to get a sense of it, let's evaluate the limit as n goes to infinity of r of n. That's the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 times n over 5 plus n. And we can divide the top and the bottom by the highest power, which is n. And this term goes to 0, and the n's cancel. So we get that the limit is 2. So we can get a sketch of the function just to get a sense of what it looks like. It goes through 0, 0, and it grows and levels off. And we're asked to evaluate dr dn, the derivative of r with respect to n, at n equals 5. So let's find out what point we're going to be evaluating that at. n is equal to 5, and r of 5 is equal to 2 times 5 over 5 plus 5, which is equal to 1. And so we have the point 5, 1, and dr dn will be the slope of the tangent line at that point. And we're asked to calculate it. So let's go ahead and calculate it. And so we'll write dr dn is equal to low d high minus high d low and then draw the line n square below. If you haven't heard that, that's a good way to remember how to do a derivative of a quotient. And so we can simplify this a little bit. We have 5 plus n. Now the derivative of 2n is 2. Then we have minus 2n. The derivative of 5 plus n is 0 plus 1. And then we draw the line and square below. Okay, so that turns out to be 10 plus 2n minus 2n, all divided by 5 plus n squared. And so this equals 10 over 5 plus n squared. So we have the uh, derivative, and we want to calculate its value at n equals 5. So dr dn at n equals 5 would be 10 over 5 plus 5 squared, which is 10 over 10 squared, which is 1 tenth. Okay, so the slope at n equals 5 is equal to 1 tenth. And we interpret this as the rate of change of the growth rate, R, with respect to nutrient, N, at the nutrient level, equal to 5. And so would answer the question, if we increase nutrient, when nutrient level is 5, how much will we be increasing the uh, growth rate by?